The Senator from North Carolina, Mr. Helms, proposes an amendment numbered 610. At the appropriate place, add the following new section. Extension of patent foreign for insignia. A certain design patent issued by the United States Patent Office on November 8, 1898, being patent numbered 29611, which is the insignia of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, which was renewed and extended for a period of 14 years by the act entitled an act granting an extension of patent to the United Daughters of the Confederacy, you, approved November 11, 1977, you, Public Law 95168, 91 Stat 1349, is renewed and extended for an additional period of 14 years from and after the date of enactment of this act, with all rights and privileges pertaining to the same being generally known as the insignia of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. I am prepared to do whatever is necessary. I will defend this flag against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I will do everything I can to see to it that this body does not disgrace itself by giving its imprimatur to a symbol of the flag that was defeated in the, in, in the Civil War between the states. The Let's Senator, the Senator for a question. The Senator from Delaware. Madam President, uh, as a question, I'm only yielding yes. for a question. Madam President, uh, uh, my question for the Senator from Illinois relates to, uh, I actually have two questions. First of all, is it not true, as the Senator has indicated, which I think maybe many of our colleagues did not understand, because I share Senator Exxon's view, I think that the vast majority of our colleagues who voted against the senator from Illinois' position did so without really thinking this through. Is it not true that the requirement that if, if this amendment is tabled, no one is denied from displaying that flag, no one is denied from venerating that flag, and no one, quite frankly, is in jeopardy of having that symbol stolen from them as an organization. Is that not true? As the Senator made a very moving and eloquent speech as a son of the Confederacy, acknowledging that it was time to change and yield to a position that Senator Carol Mosley Braun raised on the floor of the Senate, not granting a federal charter to a organization made up of many fine people who continue to display the Confederate flag